stands. Recently, there has been some drama. Woo, drama Thank God bells, my YouTube channel's eaten. Oh, give me more drama or anything I can put the word drama into. <laughs> Specifically for TikTok clips going viral about former child stars going on podcasts, talking shit, telling their stories. And it made me think, why? Why is this happening? Why did child stars have a, a like tendency to go on podcasts and talk shit? Right. Well, it definitely is not like their absolutely bizarre and deranged upbringing and the fact that podcasts are a great medium for people of that age nowadays. I think it's because they're weird. <laughs> mm, so true, Stan. So I collected a bunch of clips of child stars on podcasts to prove that this trend exists. Now, YouTube watchers, there will be the Josh and Jeanette McCurdy drama will be addressed, but you'll have to wait to the end of the video before we get drama? there for the juicy drama. <laughs> All that and McCurdy, she's the one who's made the book My Mom's Dead and I'm pissing on her grave and I'm happy, right? Actually based, yes. Okay, great. So there is drama there. We will touch on that but first of all we're going to talk about Miranda Cosgrove because this was what initially started my like dive into this okay the most interesting part about this uh -huh. is it's from an interview from two years ago uh -huh. and it went viral recently and you've probably heard this sound on TikTok stands oh um, oh yeah, yeah 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 uh sorry so this is the TikTok that went viral I actually do cuss a little do you <laughs> also yeah. what's your favorite curse word probably fuck <laughs> That, that gets me every time. I actually do cuss a little. It's like, I'm going to be a bad girl. I do cuss a little. Exactly. Uh, so this, again, two years ago, this happened. Uh, that then became like a viral TikTok sound around it. Uh, right. I just sent you the search results. Um, if you actually watch any of the videos, it's just like scantily clad women uh, shaking their ass to the camera. So it felt weird to just watch one of those. Let's not watch <laughs> one of those. One one and watch <laughs> you tried. Just... You, I can see you watched a minute and you're like, well, that's yeah, not great. Yeah. Well, that's uh, not great. <laughs> I was like, you can watch uh, like a bit just so you can hear the sound because okay. they turn it into like a, a bit of music. <laughs> this, okay, yeah, it starts. It's because <laughs> this this sound is good. Is a little is a good. Little I've jam. never it's heard the music me. version of the song. Yeah, this this went like viral viral. Do you? Oh. What's your favorite curse word? Probably fuck. <laughs> we can't. I, I'm not showing them. I can't do. I can't. We can't keep doing this. <laughs> hey, I'm not wrong though. Oh, uh, it's just weird. Sure. It's just weird. <laughs> it's, all of TikTok is weird, and it's weird. Uh, this was all just to say that uh, this interview is from two years ago, right. which means this anecdote that you're about to hear has existed for two years without anyone like really caring about it or without it going viral at all. I so see. this isn't the TikTok. This is from um, the actual podcast because right. I thought we'd watch the better quality version. But this story, this this story is just fucking insane. So uh, we're going to listen to it, especially the way that Miranda like addresses it. She doesn't give it the stank it deserves. I feel like it's fucking crazy. Got it. Let's do it. But yeah, but it's nice to be around them. But yeah, a crazy thing happened at my my house and it sort of like made me want to go stay with them a while for a while because um, I went on a bad date and I was at the arc light like seeing a movie with somebody. He was wearing zebra pants and <clears throat> I feel like that makes me think less of Miranda Cosgrove and not the date, right? <laughs> if you see zebra pants, I think you bail. You turn around. You yeah, leave, yeah, right? Like you're, you, you deserve Especially better. Especially if you're like, Miranda Cosgrove. That's what I'm saying, right? She's famous and she seems sweet, right? Afterwards, it was raining and it, like it never hardly ever rains in L.A. So I was mm. I was kind of like, I don't want to go back to my place, even though my place is pretty close to Arclight. Is Miranda trying house. to fuck? You don't you know, we're not judging here, Miranda. You don't have to make up some rain. Uh, that, that, am I the only one picking up those vibes? The zebra pants, I think she was, man. And then I got a call at like three in the morning that somebody had like died at my house and it was. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Who lives in her house? What does that mean? Oh, I just like got a call that someone died at my house. Yeah, very, very normal. What? It was right in my front yard. And basically, I guess a guy came and he was like burying things in my backyard for like three days. And, um. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say, is it like, oh, I went to the store and they were out of milk or something? <laughs> like, what right. the fuck? I'm imagining her like eating cereal on her couch and the guy in the backyard walks by and like waves at her and she gives him like a little salute and he's just burying a fucking dead dog. 
Yeah. What? Well, it's, like, it's the fact that it, she was like three days, as though like if he was burying stuff in a backyard for two days, that was like okay. But the third day we made it weird, you know? What? And he buried a lunchbox with like a milk chocolate inside of it in my backyard. And then he buried like knives and like a rope and like a bunch of random stuff. But yeah, he was just like pacing in my backyard, I guess. And uh, cause I have like security cameras. So later when we looked, I, we figured out he was back there for like how like, six hours. Terrifying would that be? You look at the security oh, yeah, tapes and there's sure. a man in your backyard for six hours. This makes me feel freaky. Or something like waiting. And then somebody drove up that had a similar car, like that kind of looked like my car. And I guess he, got confused and he thought that maybe it was me driving up it's just like bad luck and he like shot at this person like six <laughs> why you cannot right? be so nonchalant someone's gonna die so miranda nonchalant. it's fucking crazy she's, she's like, like so lucky it like wasn't me. me so anyway they shot six times and i mean it gets crazier what? so just because she was in a car she drove away and then he set himself on fire and he shot himself had simultaneously no idea that's how it would have ended what <laughs> and then right. later so I it's got a crazy call, like, that it got warning. crazier like, how does it happen morning. why did she even mention the date right <laughs> <laughs> looking back that's even weirder than all of this it's just say so someone fucking ritualistically killed themselves in my yard after stalking me not like so i was on this day and he had zebra pants that is nothing yeah, to do with the story off. the the most important part about the anecdote was you got to mention the zebra pants obviously. yeah yeah it's funny because that to me that screams that she thinks both of these things are around similar level of interesting in a life right <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah zebra pants that that's weird. Oh man, self-immolating? Very weird. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Like you see, I think that's the end of the story. How insane is Absolutely that? Absolutely bonkers. And you mentioned it before and I didn't I didn't have time to internalize it. The nonchalance and the way she tells that story. Yeah. I can't imagine having the strength of character for that not to shake everything I know about the universe, right? Oh, 100%. Like I'm moving, I'm never telling anyone that happened. Uh, this it's going to incentivize other people to fucking set themselves on fire and kill themselves in Miranda Cosgrove's <laughs> house. You, oh, ah, yeah. that was crazy. And it is funny that that's the same one where she's like, I cuss a little. <laughs> it's like, why? Yeah, the, the, what? Why was that the clip that went viral? That's fucking crazy. This one should have been viral two years ago. Yeah. And we should at least know this about Miranda Cosgrove. So that's a crazy story, but that wasn't cringe. Uh -huh. Like she wasn't, uh, I think she's acting like a normal human being to a certain degree. She's not being full cringe. We are about to get close to full cringe. Oh, no. This is Cole Sprouse on the Call Her Daddy podcast. Ah, um, yes. Which I'm sure you saw at the time because this also went viral. Yeah, we talked about it. I, actually, the truth is we made fun of Cole Sprouse and then a bunch of people commented on YouTube. They're going to do it again about how mean we were being to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a shit ton of links so we can Ooh. get those comments again because we're going to be me. Please have your cigarette. Okay. You know what, Gold? Let's open the door. I don't know. People get people are all cool about it's fine. Everyone's smoking weed in like a studio. But and not a fucking like, cigarette. Can I have tobacco and everyone gets like this. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like a 50 year old. What is going on here? Yeah, it's fucking you weird also, to smoke a cigarette inside. It's fucking weird, this, dude. This is about, I think, halfway through the podcast, he decides to ask that, like it's not at the start or anything, so yeah. he, even a little bit weirder. Uh -huh. uh, he then proceeds to smoke four podcasts. For the, sorry, four cigarettes, the whole entire <laughs> podcast. Yeah, that's sick. He's just a chain Fucking smoker. Fine. I mean, obviously, if you're getting interviewed for like an hour and you're a nicotine addict, you're going to be like a little jittery. You're going to want your cigarette. Yeah, 100%. I'm curious. Mm. Did you even go to like elementary school? I did. Um, it was off and on. We it was in between jobs mainly, uh, but most. <laughs> That's then, so sad. I feel like we should laugh at that, but that is that is so fucking sad. Oh, yeah, a lot of it man. is kind of sad. So this is uh, another TikTok that went viral, uh, basically just because of how pretentious he seems and uh, talking about his relationship. And, and the cigarette does not help at all. <laughs> he right. looks like he's trying yeah, to really be like Johnny Depp or something. I won't go into that too much, but I will say it was mutual. Can I tell you something? Please. I promised myself today that if you fucking said the word mutual, I was going to call you out because yeah. someone had to have made the first step to end it. I left. You left. 
being honest when you're in a relationship for that long. <laughs> this smoke is so it's funny. Like I, I, I don't care who you are. You, you, it's, it's, yeah, it's bonkers. It's weird. It's silly. It's goofy. I it's left is so the, sick. It's actually a goaded line. Just the instant. The yeah. instant. Someone has to I left. I left. It was me. It was me. <laughs> it honestly makes me want to smoke cigarettes. That's the problem with cigarettes is they look fucking cool. Even with Cole Sprouse being cringe. Look at this. To end it. I left. Come on! Tell me that wasn't That's cool as cool shit! Fun. That was he cool! Us as fuck. And then he this is a fucking child. Um, okay, I love it. We're gonna then. Uh, oh no, this one's cringe. Uh, we, this is too far. Uh, we're gonna look. <laughs> Did you at, save one and then you said this is too far? There is a video that I'm linking now from Harry James Miller. Okay. Who I don't think that big of a YouTuber, so I want to make sure Sorry. that we give One them that a shout out. Okay. Um, this video has a really good like. Instead of having to watch the podcast in its entirety to find the most cringe parts, uh -huh. he basically found the most cringe parts and then says a couple of funny jokes. So oh. there's like two minutes that we're gonna watch of this video. This is deep in the react sauce. I want you to know. I paid you to find clips. You found clips of this guy who made the clips, but then he also made the jokes and so i'm just gonna react to the jokes it's like both of us aren't doing our job here you're not doing your job but also i'm not doing my job yeah but he we we get the raw reactions his is pre-written joke so it's very very oh, different yeah forms. fuck him john william scott sorry what's his name uh harry james miller i'll pick up on in this interview is that he thinks he's very smart whether it's his use of the word macabre some macabre you know <laughs> <laughs> his malapropisms. This is a gold rush, man. You gotta, you gotta strike this vein while it's hot. Yeah. You know how <laughs> ores are always hot. That's why you put them in a furnace. So I hot. hesitate to make fun of him for that because Rochelle does not know a single one. She mixes oh, every no. single uh, analogy, metaphor, uh, and so it's like, oh, he's just like her for real. <laughs> At home. His <laughs> turns of phrase that he seems too pleased to have come up with. People join in on the feast for crows as this <laughs> as this sort of cacophony of criticism and they don't um ever hold themselves accountable for their own behavior i wonder the tough part about only watching what are, would have been selected as the cringe moments is like maybe he has a point right uh but the reason i to won't extent. give him any respect is because the buttons in the chest hair dude if your shirt was yeah, buttoned up i would go. not be making fun of you here Press the back arrow once and uh -huh. look at the difference between the like button. It feels like he's pulled his shirt down <laughs> to try and see more chest there Don't, in between these um, two clips. Ever hold this <laughs> it's one button lower. Behavior in the show. Really, like, <laughs> it does feel lower. It does. I think he's just adjusted, but come on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, it's like okay you have too. to translate, like you have to find a synonym for every single word that he's saying in order to be able to understand the point right. he's trying and to make. And then you go, maybe he's got a point there after you translate. <laughs> At all. I think in very many ways, we are all more or less durable to the trappings of success and everyone has their own personal navigation through that stuff. So <laughs> true, dude. Some of us are susceptible to it. Some of us uh, aren't, so you know? In very many ways. Very <laughs> just, many if you ways. start saying something like that, I just want you to not speak ever. And stop. Do you think he talks like this? Like he's on a podcast. This is performative, right? People are going to be like, what does Cole Sprouse think about things? I want to seem smart. Do you think like he's hanging out with the homies and he talks like this? Do you think he's unbuttoned shirts, um, smoking, playing Smash with the boys? Know. He's only ever, to my knowledge, done two podcasts. And, this was <laughs> and the he first got one. boomed on one of them. Holy. This, this was the first one. This was it. This is his only podcast. And he oh. went, I'm going to be the smart, suave guy that smokes. And right. it's like, oh, no, dude. I, he must have uh, thought of that. It's not like a PR person who did, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. He's, yeah. he's, just, he's being his true self. And we're cringe for taking the piss out of him, honestly. Agreed, if true. But if he's <laughs> if he's not, then he's cringe. <laughs> okay, that's enough talking about Mr. Cringe Cole Sprouse. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Harry James Miller, for the extra content. Very epic. In fact, let me... Uh, what the fuck are you... Go ahead. Why, why are we... Let me drop the link in chat. It's very Sorry. epic. Oh, it's for him. Sorry, I was... <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's for chat to, to look at. You of can course. subscribe and go and watch his videos because they're very good don't just subscribe and then never watch his videos though you've got to subscribe 
and watch yeah that's videos. actually worse for him if you subscribe yeah, and don't yeah, watch yeah. all of a sudden he gets fucked yeah um the editors will actually strangle and kill you in your sleep if you keep on playing this music sounds just, just waiting for the know. next clip yeah well you do understand the process of this that i intro the clips before i send them so if there's music playing in the background when i'm doing the intro the editors are going to either have to use the software to cut out the music or deal with this music randomly jarring playing <laughs> and cut out the rest of their music i think twitch chat likes it to be perfectly twitch honest. chat likes it i think that's fine i'm happy with twitch chat liking it i'm telling you that nate will murder you or light mind will kill you in your sleep hey light mind uh add we shot bossa nova during the transitions because chat likes it this is just a little bit of an editing okay, feedback yeah, that's fine that's, i'm fine with that that's okay okay now you're in you're back in you're back in <laughs> Okay, uh, the next cringe person that we will talk about, Let's Liam Payne from One Direction fame. Who? <laughs> you will probably recognize this person as well because he had a crazy, insane stint on the Impulsive podcast being very cringe. So here is the first video where we will watch. I have to be careful what films I watch sometimes because I might walk out the house as a different person. That's so interesting. I'm definitely clinically insane, but they just haven't copped onto it yet. I just don't tell them that. I'm cut that bit out. <laughs> okay, um, that. Getting clipped for sure, bro. <laughs> He's well, saying that, that he means. watches a movie what film. and then becomes the character. Yeah, as though he's like, his brain is a sponge. I don't know why he's saying it or what it even means. Is it meant to be like, he's trying to get acting roles or something? Like he's such a good method actor that he can become a different person? I don't even know. I do think that there's something to be said about actors saying the most bizarre shit just to like get a reaction right and it's like i method acted by drinking 17 coffees and pooping my pants every morning for this role and it's like wait what and they never really did it and they go tee hee i didn't do that yeah but he's he's not even an actor uh oh really i assumed he was an actor no 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 he's he he only does music as far as i'm aware oh he the, he's just a acting. malleable mind right he just watches yeah. a movie and think it's like what kids do they watch a cartoon and they're like i love sonic and i'm the fastest kid in the world you know uh yeah probably he's you did you do that over in the uk what watch sonic watch sonic and, go, and then sonic. say you were the fat make it your whole personality <laughs> make it your whole personality is crazy what you might have been more of a knuckles the the echidna <laughs> you know what i mean i was a shadow i'll have you know. oh yeah, yeah 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 have you ever seen stans the hedgehog on tumblr um don't don't we'll move on sorry uh yeah that's insane okay. that's weird <laughs> Um, I got hit. This by is uh, <laughs> the next fucking. This is this one I just labeled psychopath. <laughs> love that. Love that. My only real asset is my brain. Do you want to swap? I. I... <laughs> the, the I know that's not what swap we're swap trying to so talk funny. about. That we're going for him. But starting with that is so unbelievably yeah, fucking. Yeah, it's just two huge egos, dude. Yeah, I, I actually do. I, so I actually would. If I could change my my thing. I would love to have a, a voice. I would pay someone to come and spend some time in this motherfucker and just see how long it lasts. <laughs> no, see, that scares me. That scares me, though. See? I'm pretty stable. That's the one thing. I'm pretty I stable. I know, I'm stable to a degree. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does he keep talking about how insane he is? I don't get it. Is he actually like, insane? It, I guess we all latch on to things about ourselves that we think are charming or funny or people find interesting. And he's really, really got that insane angle, huh? Hey, plus two in the chat for midnight. He's just finished watching The Joker. That's why he's like Ooh, this. Ooh, plus two. Dude, I hate when chat's funnier than me. Those fuckers. <laughs> uh, be, he's the least egotistical band member. Pop. I feel like if you're in a boy band, this is expected. This, it's less surprising to me than the Miranda Cosgrove stuff, right? Well, the reason One yeah, Direction true. was made was because of Simon's promise to me that in two years, I'll make this work for you. Wow. So he kind of started with my face and then worked around. <laughs> how did they choose the rest of the, the group? I don't know how they chose the rest of them, but I mean, they made the right choices. I called my dad. I was like, this is weird. I know that I just told you I'm out, but... They want to put me in a boy band. Like, what do you think about it? He said, well, you can either be 100% of nothing or one fifth of something. And I thought, hmm, very clever, Jeffrey. <laughs> did he call his dad Jeffrey, by the way? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> also, his dad didn't believe in his solo act? That's fucked. <laughs> no, no, no. no. So, <laughs> the actual, I, I, have, I have some lore that you probably don't know. Because okay. uh, British X Factor, uh, I watched it, like, growing up. So I, I saw... This, you like, saw the rise of One Direction? In. What happened is in the initial like go through, they basically had too many young male acts and too many young female acts and not enough bands. So they took 
the people that weren't good enough to be solo artists and put them together and made bands themselves. Right, mashed them the up. The first time they did it, it was this season. So Liam is insinuating that he was the face that Simon wanted to build this like group of ragtag solo people together to become the band, which to say that Simon promised in that is crazy. And uh -huh. then in the next sentence say, he was out because he didn't pass through the audition process. He already <laughs> failed his solo audition. Right. So Simon can't have that much faith in him if he was like, you can't be a solo act. There's fucking no way. Baby Gronk. Baby Gronk. I feel bad for Baby <laughs> Gronk in the same way I feel bad for Liam. This is Baby Gronk as an adult. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. Um, and then this is a clip of Logan Paul going on uh, that guy, the it's comedian that talks about racists that I told you about. Uh, um, Andrew Schultz. Yeah, Andrew Schultz, thank you. Yeah, um, I remember that. This is a clip from his podcast that Logan went on like the next day or like a couple of days later. Got it. Liam Payne came on my podcast yeah. a couple of weeks ago and uh, he was drinking whiskey and I think he said some things that he probably... Regrets. What did he say? Now, um, just, you know, the alcohol definitely loosens you up, so... He went to fight Bieber, he said. <laughs> he said he said a lot of stuff. People, oh, people yeah, were upset. Actually I'm not say that. super... He was trying to start a fight with just a Bieber as well. Interesting. Isn't Bieber kind of out of the game, mostly? Uh, yeah, he was... I think Liam Payne was like, I am Mr. Big Bollocks, and I want to get into the celebrity boxing thing, so I'm oh, going to shout out fucking Justin Bieber. Box Bieber. Man, what a mismatch in term of celebrity. Right? Yeah. That's and now, crazy. It's so funny. He went to the latest. He went to the um, influencer boxing thing that uh, you watched. And Liam was there? Uh, yeah, he was there in person and they interviewed him at one point and he was uh -huh. like, yeah, I box anyone, honestly. <laughs> so it went from <laughs> Justin Bieber to like, just please get me in the ring. Someone get in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. He just no wants to be famous. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> so course no one wants to because no one knows who he is, dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, no I have cares. no idea who Liam Payne is. And I'm the target market, to be honest. I'm not super in the, you know, the 1D world, but he, people were upset that Liam said that he was the, basically the, the founding father of One Direction, that he was the inception, which he very well could have been, but I, again, I don't know, I don't know the interest. He was the inception? Uh -huh. He was the, he, quote unquote, first honorary member of One Direction. Simon built the group around him. That's what he said. I think people were upset. And then, I, I mean, to be I mean, honest, I don't even follow. Fuck. Can we just be honest on the pod? I didn't know that Liam Payne was in one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, When dude. I saw him on your, I thought he was in Peaky Blind. Sorry, is this Andrew Scholl? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was in Peaky Blind. This is Peaky so is funny. so good. <laughs> Especially because I don't think he's... I don't think that's a joke. I think that's just sincere. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. Of course that's sincere. <laughs> look at him. Well, little investigator emoji. There's a lot of clips of Liam Payne being cringe just in general. Like, uh, there's, there's a clip of him going... You know this one, sing along, and then holds the mic to no, and then no one sings. It's, it's so <laughs> fucking funny. I feel bad for that. that. That sucks. Yeah, but that's not on a podcast, so it doesn't fit the theme. So we will move on mm -hmm. to the final part of this video. Jeanette McCurdy and uh -huh. Josh Peck drama. Ooh, drama. Oh, Ooh, meow, 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 drama. interesting. Uh, and luckily, there is one TikTok that encapsulates all of the drama. Full right. Well, Josh Peck's a little sassy one, huh? I've seen a uh, lot of clips I, of Josh Peck. He just likes I to don't talk like shit. Josh Peck. Josh Why not? Peck, Mr. Cringe. And we will we can get into what? it. What? I don't think he's Mr. Let's Cringe. Watch, let's watch the drama first. Let's okay. watch the drama. Uh, let's watch the drama. <laughs> What's it like? What were your interactions with him like? <laughs> he just was a tough boss. Probably lucked out in your the regard of your interaction. Oh, he's defending the molester. That's He's why we don't like Josh Dan Peck. Schneider, and you're on his side. Ah, Dan. I'm not on his side anymore. Well, you I just don't think, think he's Mr. Cringe. Josh Peck was a fat kid. He didn't get molested. He's like me. It's fat kid's not gonna get molested, dude. Uh, of course he thinks that. I I wasn't molested. Oh. He's just a he's just a tough boss. He's just a tough boss. Yeah, that he's, likes a, feet. he's a tough it's boss. Okay. She was our first ever guest. Really? Like the day that she released her book, we were truly good guys. Unbelievable interview. Spoke about everything that she wanted to, nothing that she didn't want to. She told us not to run it. So us Ooh. being the good guys, we that's are. very normal, right? <laughs> They're playing drama music yeah. behind it, but it's like, yeah, they did a podcast. She watched it and said, "Hey, actually, don't." Which is what you have to do. Like that's what yeah, guests have 100%. the right to do. That. Yeah, yeah. And Jeanette, no problem, we'll kill it. She owes us. <laughs> I wrote, hi, I got a green bubble. Am I blocked? It looks is that like how that works? Wait, is that how that works? So it's either that you like- Or she was off Wi-Fi, she was on a plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it could be that, but even if you are fucking blocked, 
Who don't fucking go on a what? Are you a child? Go on a podcast and fucking air the dirty laundry? You're like you're a fucking superstar, Josh Peck. Just <laughs> One, with it Josh Peck is not a superstar, and two, I don't think you know what podcasts are for. <laughs> of course, just, you're gonna air this, it. You can just not be a cringe person, is what I'm saying. Like there yes. are levels to it. You don't need to go. Hey, this person. First of all, they owe us a podcast, which yeah. makes no fucking sense. You don't uh-huh. owe someone a podcast. Uh-huh. And two, to then be like, well, they blocked me, so they're cringe. Like it's you're fucking the one up. So funny that uh, all these people have podcasting communities. You see it a lot with Twitch streamers. And it's like you say things to your Twitch chat that are like insular to your community. And then sometimes they leave your ecosystem and you go, oh, no. <laughs> it's happened well, to me all the time where I'll do something. It happened a little bit with like the Charlie fucking boxing man video where all of a sudden it left my community and other people saw it. And they were like, I'm fucking ready for yeah. war with this man. It looks like Josh Peck can't hold down a thing. <laughs> Baby Gronk is going to this <laughs> yeah, university. Is that the, the same guy? Like, Do you hear the way he's talking? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But this it's is the, same the man. Josh video. It looks like Josh Peck, Peck can't, can't hold down, hold down a, a friend, friend in, Hollywood. in Hollywood. After his major feud with Drake Bell, he's decided to go after Jeanette McCurdy. And it seems like Josh is siding with Dan Schneider while Jeanette is exposing him. So let's get into it. Okay, pause for a second. Yeah. He says, let's get into it, and then plays a fucking intro logo thing, and then spends the next 30 seconds saying everything he said before and the video ends. So <laughs> he doesn't get into it. I don't know why he decided to do that, but uh, we can we can start watching it there. That's um, so funny. So, yeah, just fucking insane uh-huh. that... Uh, first of all, this video saying, like, oh, he had feud with Drake Bell, as though we're supposed to, like be on Drake Bell's side, who's, like, been charged with uh, messaging a minor, or, like, some yeah. fucking sexual things, and fucking disgusting. He's a horrible creep. A and, little Dalia Jr. Yeah, and we we don't need to be on his side, but we definitely don't need to be on Josh's side. Yeah, if you... What's your take? I will say... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'll don't say it. Team Josh, I'm team not Dan. Team Josh, but I'm saying, because okay. he's defending Dan Schneider, and Dan Schneider's a creep and weird and has no business being around children. Uh, if you abstract Dan Snyder, the whole like, damn, we did a podcast and she canceled it and then she won't call me back and do another podcast. I get that. It's like, well, fuck, we spent all that time. Like, c- c- do the podcast. We- we'll do it your way, but let's do the podcast. But I don't think yes. she blocked him. She's probably on a fucking plane and he's being a weirdo. I can imagine the situation being they've done a podcast. It's the first one since she's come back. Right. Uh, th- with this book that has details of how awful Dan Schneider is. Mm-hmm. And they probably, at some point in that podcast, talked about that, considering they have both worked very closely with Dan Schneider. And it was the day and, of the book release, and it's what she's... And the reason the she's the going release. on podcasts is to talk about the book and promote the book. Yes. So I'm assuming that she brought up Dan Schneider, or he brought up John Schneider, and it didn't seem like Josh was very against him, and she obviously was, and probably felt uncomfy being in the room with someone being like, well, he wasn't that bad. He was just a tough boss. Right. Or having it look like, I think the biggest issue, we saw it a lot with this like vaccine man versus Joe Rogan recently is like the fact that it would look like there's two sides to it. You don't even want that out there. Cause it's like, no, there's not two sides to it. Like this man abused me. Right. (laughs) And so someone saying that makes it seem like you can pick the other side. Yeah. And then you extrapolate the, as he said, they were the first podcast that she went on. So she's like the first thing that she would be that would be released around her book tour is some guy going well Dan Schneider's just a tough boss yeah so yeah uh it's very I, I think she did the right move and it's crazy that he wouldn't see it that way okay so I think the one thing we've learned from this video is Drake and Josh cringe iCarly based <laughs> wait actually true both yeah. of Drake and Joshers are on the wrong side of history, and both of the iCarliers. It, what happened to the guy from iCarly? He's not like fucking alt right or anything, is he? Uh, is no, he- I think he's fine. They're, they're both in the iCarly like reboot spin-off thing that they've done. Like, Friendship iCarly ended with Drake fun. and Josh. iCarly's my new best friend now. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds great. I'm on board. I second that notion. That's sick. Sick.